Wait a minute, that's him. Holy crap, that's him right there. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into episode two, season three of Better Call Saul. This one's titled Witness. Now, Witness was used in the last episode where Chuck was practically threatening my boy Ernesto. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. But when that happens, you really start to see the similarities between Jimmy and Chuck. It seems like no matter what, they just can't seem to play it straight. You know, I feel like Chuck obviously, you know, does it more so than Jimmy, but he reminds me of like a little Napoleon or something. It's like a it's like a, a dictatorship. You know, he uses his knowledge and his title and his 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 work effort as this facade, because if you peel all that back, what what does he not only have, but what is he? You know, he's a guy that is unable to go outside because of something that could potentially be in his head. You know, essentially, he sees himself as weak. He sees himself as uh, uh weak amongst his peers, weak amongst his brother. Um, and that facade, that decoration of the hard work of the title, entitlement of the, you know, the knowledge, you know, you see it and it embodies physically. You can see the manifestation as you, you know, look at his room. It's filled with books of laws and this and that and this and that. And it really is a shell. And if you take the the, the unique because I don't know if it's real or not I'm not about to just you know deny a, a something that is you know could not be real in this show but could actually be real in this world but um, if you take what he's going through what he has and you apply it to where he is and where he spends most of his time at which is his house it really is a giant metaphor of just his psyche you know, he's trapped within his own head. He's afraid of going outside and stepping into unknown territory. So he bunkers in and he builds up what he knows best, which is law, which is, you know, knowledge, which is, you know, all the things that he personally probably feels that he's he's worked for him. He rightfully has. But again, you see the extreme form of it, that that dictatorship, you know, that I'm better than you. You know, I know what's right. You've seen it with Jimmy. You see it when he's, you know, talking to even Howard. You see it when he's talking to Kim. And you see it when he's talking to Ernesto. And that is going to really damage him. <laughs> and it has been damaging. You know, he could have easily just let things go. You know, he could have just let things go and have just grown from that. But he's so afraid of 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 this that 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 feeling of weakness you know especially when it's tainting the things that he holds outside of himself and man it, it creates such a fascinating relationship with these characters because <laughs> things are gonna get messy i can feel it i can feel it you know the writing is just perfect the acting is perfect I'm excited. Guys, that's my thoughts on Chuck. I would love to hear your thoughts on Chuck. You know, let me know if you disagree. Let me know if you agree. You know, I'm cool to have him like a, a conversation uh, about these characters because why not? You know, I think this this show is, is uh, definitely meant for something like that. Um, but as always, guys, if you want to be able to hear more and watch more, definitely check out the Patreon link below for early access, uncut, all that good stuff. You can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, I hope that you can just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Season 3, Episode 2 of Better Call Saul. I hate to say it, but I think it might be time to kill the lights. Oh, yes, sir. Of course. You sure I can't make you a cup of tea? Yo, did he hire some? Wait, I just realized what he just did. <laughs> Is that like a hired guard to like, <laughs> to watch and make sure no one breaks into the house, man? Oh my God. You guys see what I'm saying? All right, who are you dudes? What the heck are y'all? <laughs> I 
<laughs> yo, <laughs> I know I talk about Mike being just so dope, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> it really blows my mind how how this dude can just be keeping up <laughs> with these guys. I, I just hope that just lets y'all know that use your brains. <laughs> Doesn't matter what age you are. <laughs> Dude's mic just foot is out the door and he's still putting other people first. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Cool shot. Whoa, what is that shot? That doesn't even look real. That shot doesn't even look real. That's crazy. What is going on with that? They almost look like miniature figures. They probably like stitched together two different shots with that. Because that does... I don't even know how they did that. <laughs> I don't even think they could do that physically. <laughs> Just from a camera point of view. But that was awesome. I love that. Alright, so this dude is picking up drunks. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's not the FBI. <laughs> I'm sure it's not any thing that we've talked about. I mean, the only thing I can remember about somebody picking up drugs from different places is from that, uh, is, is Gus. It's Gus's people. Which would make sense with how he said don't, because Gus probably wanted to kill Hector. So would that be Gus? But I don't know how Gus would even get involved with this. I don't even know how he would even know about this. But it would make sense for them to meet, especially if Gus offers protection for his family, you know? You know they both have a common enemy, which is Hector. Oh my God! Is it gonna re is the, are they gonna reveal it? Is they gonna uh, is it gonna is it actually gonna be a restaurant? Are they gonna just like <laughs> show us that? Oh my God! Are they gonna do it? <laughs> are they gonna do it? They're gonna do it! <laughs> I, I told y'all they were gonna do it. I told you. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. It is. It's Los Pollos Hermanos. Oh my God! It is Gus. Holy crap. <laughs> That's crazy. Because it's a different location. It's a different location. I'm so happy y'all just saw my brain just work through that in real time. That's crazy. That was fun. What do you say then? Do you ever yell at them? I mean, geezers, right? How can you not? No, I would never. No. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> you had me at old people. Hey, here's a question. Can you start today? I can. Uh, yes. Fantastic. Now, can you? Can you? Jesus, Jimmy. What the hell, dude? What the heck? How is he so clueless as to the person right next to him? <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> Would you like to come in for a consultation? Say, is that a dog I'm hearing? It is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Well, I think he said mention Cracker Barrel. That is hilarious, man. That is funny as heck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jimmy is unavailable at the moment. If you'd like to leave a message, Mr. Ermin Trout. Woo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Give Jimmy the phone on that. Give Jimmy the phone. <laughs> this one really don't want to talk about Cracker Barrel. <laughs> he said this one. She said this one really doesn't want to talk about Cracker Barrel. That's funny as hell. It's got to be money. Drugs? Is it drugs? Something else? Well, uh, I'm guessing money. Tell me I'm right. He is going to be here any minute. This is such a cool shot. This is such a cool sweep right here. 
Uh, I have a Poyos classic and a coffee, black. Would you like the Poyos bonus size for 50 cents more? No, normal. Dining in or to go? I'm just waiting for a Gus appearance, man. <laughs> I am waiting for a Gus appearance, man. Wait a minute, that's him. Holy crap, that's him right there. I think that's Gus right there. Holy crap, I could tell by just the silhouette. That is insane, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, we're gonna get a Gus appearance like T minus 10 seconds. I love how they did that, man. <laughs> I love how they just showed him as like as a blur. <laughs> Dude. Can I help you? Oh no. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh. May I clean this for you? We have alcohol wipes. I know, it's been in worse places. Thank you. That was very nice of you. No problem. Dude, I cannot believe Gus is here, bro. Oh my god, dude. This is top dog villain right here, man. <laughs> he didn't talk to anybody. He didn't even look at anybody. Finished his meal in five minutes tops and skedaddled. Didn't leave anything behind. Yeah, no wonder Mike is getting bamboozled. The only person that would probably be able to do it is... Is, is Gus and Walter. <laughs> so, what's our next move, huh? Walter's not even in the game yet. <laughs> Dude, Gus is crazy. There's no way. There's no way he clocked them. No way, man. Dude. <laughs> The way they be making it seem like Gus is like this, <laughs> this omnipotent force is wild. Yo, yo, <laughs> we are seeing everybody from Breaking Bad. This is awesome. <laughs> oh man, R.I.P. to that dude. <laughs> he got his throat. Eat it out of existence by Gus. That was insane. Yo, this dude Ar Ernesto with this. <laughs> what? This dude got a big old spoiler on his car, man. This dude's whipping it. <laughs> Not Jimmy directly. Like, like we have a buffer, then legally I'm safe. Ernie. What the hell are you talking? <laughs> yeah, man, spit it out, bro. You might as well. He's contested on the price is right. Jim, can I have a moment? Excuse me, sir. Apologies, Mr. Witchell. Uh, just be a second, folks. Oh, boy, here we go. Here we go. All I got's a 20. Fine, whatever. All right. I'm your lawyer now. If anyone asks me what I know, we have confidentiality. Wow. Why do we need confidentiality? Kim Jimmy. is... Whoo! Oh my God, Kim is just such a G. He thought his brain wasn't working because of the Mesa Verde of it. And so I kind of told him that he was right about everything. I had to. Why? Why? I know why, but it just, it just, he could have been good if he just did not say that. Then he heard you, your voice saying something about switching 1261 to 1216. So clearly it was this confession of yours. Damn, damn. I know Kim is pissed. I would, I, if I was Kim, I'd be so pissed right now. Cause I'm just trying to do my damn job. <laughs> and have to deal with this brother behemoth bull crap. <laughs> but I'm not sure what you can do with it. Legally anyway. He's going to try and get Jimmy in the act of probably wanting to steal it. You said the things you did to make him feel better, which mitigates the admission of guilt at the very least. We can poke holes in the custody. Guys, I'm blown away by how much love Kim has for Jim. 
Jimmy. Jim. <laughs> For Jimmy. Because I would have thought Kim would have just like... So <laughs> then... You know? But clearly I have underestimated how much she truly cares about Jimmy. And that's what just makes this that much more painful. Because of what I know. <laughs> Because she is not in the black and white <laughs> color grade sections, I'm telling you that. <laughs> you okay? Kim, I'm good. Yeah, and he's using the same method his brother taught him when he's like peeling the tape back from the previous episode. <laughs> No, you're going to make a mistake, man. He wants you to go to his house. He wants you to break in and enter. That's why he hired that dude so he can catch you. Dang it, man. Oh, Jimmy, dude. Ah. Oh, that is a cool shot, man. What the heck? <laughs> dude, Mike is getting all the cool shots here. He's getting the cinematography treatment for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I cannot believe Gus is here, man. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, I'm happy that we're finally following Howard. I really want to know more about this dude. <laughs> he seems really interesting. <laughs> Howard, you better use your <laughs> use your legs, man. <laughs> hey, you have to hide them. I would have so sick of this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Damn, it's done, dude. It's done. They got him. They got him. You were a witness to what happened here? I was. And you? I'm a witness. Damn. God damn. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Uh, this is not it. And that's where they're going to end it off, man. I This season is going to make me want to throw myself off a bridge. <laughs> All right, everybody. We just got done episode two, season three of Better Call Saul. <laughs> okay. Dude, I'm so... I just... It can't win. <laughs> It's like, I want Jimmy to just just chill for a little bit. Just chill. He couldn't just chill. If he pro if he waited a week, he probably would have, like, this would have just faded away. But again, the theme is Jimmy is is emotional. You know, he's, he's, he's incredibly emotional. And it, it leads him into doing just ridiculous things. And it's so unfortunate. Oh, my God. Because I was surprised you know at how much wiggle room he still had even after being recorded i completely forgot yeah you definitely need to have the consent of like the other person depending on the, the state etc but it was still good you could still deny guilt or or anything in that nature but he just made it 10 times worse I don't see him getting out of this one, breaking and entering. <laughs> like, um, he has intent. There was intent now. And that is just not it. That's not good. Guys, this is insane. Not only did we just witness that, but we witnessed Gus being back into the <laughs> into the mix of things. And Gus is a super villain. All right. He's not like, <laughs> like you guys know already. All right. But like Gus isn't this regular villain for one season. <laughs> 
This dude lingers, man. This dude stays with you. And I was so happy to finally get a reveal. Oh my goodness, it was just so good. It's so good, but it makes sense because I don't know who else would have outplayed Mike other than Gus or Walter. I don't think there's any other person I can think of that would be able to do that, you know? Um, but yeah, seeing how the information led up to that, because I wasn't sure. I had a feeling it would, but I wasn't sure on how they would be able to do it. So it, it I, I didn't double down on that thought. You know, I thought it was gonna be like, maybe like a newer character or something like that. But yeah, after you start seeing those red, that red paint, <laughs> Yeah, I knew exactly that Gus was right around the corner. Guys, these characters are incredible. <laughs> these characters are incredible. Another thing I want to highlight before we close off on this episode is Kim. You know, she's definitely my favorite character. <laughs> she's definitely my favorite character. You know, she... Uh, I've, I've underestimated just how caring she is to Jimmy. Uh, definitely to a fault, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And it's a shame because, you know, there's this incredible hardworking nature to her where she's able to work, uh, you know, and, and, and accomplish any obstacle, you know, through her own will. But then there's also this compassionate side that she shows to Jimmy. And that sometimes comes at the sacrifice of herself. And... I, I'm, I'm blown away by how much she has sacrificed herself, you know, to the point to where when she, you know, gets a big win, she's not even able to truly feel good about it because of the compassion that she's shown for Jimmy just from knowing what he's done and not ratting him out, you know. But again, Jimmy doesn't even recognize that. Jimmy doesn't recognize that. Jimmy doesn't even listen to that. And so he goes and escalates this. And I don't know how much left she can sacrifice. You know, I would hate for them to just like, you know, split up and break apart and or do whatever. But like, it's just a, it's a shame to see how much she's actually fighting for him and how he just keeps sabotaging it. It's just so frustrating. Um, but man, I mean, again, it's just this, this world of characters. You know, I can feel for everybody and I can understand everyone's motive. And it's just such a joy to watch, even though it's painful as hell. <laughs> but guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode. I'm excited for the next couple of episodes as well, too. Like always, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the back